Cookies, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make panettone. Panettone is a very traditional Italian Christmas cake, really. Uh, it's really a, a cross between a cake and a bread, but it's very traditional. You have to have it every year Christmas because it just wouldn't be Christmas without panettone. So let's get into it by showing you exactly what you're going to need. You'll need some all-purpose flour, some sugar, eggs, some candy citrus peel, dark raisins, golden raisins, some soft unsalted butter, water, milk, vanilla extract, orange, a lemon, a pinch of salt, and some yeast. Now, quick heads up, I really hesitate in making this recipe for you only because it is a very long process. It's not difficult, but it's very long. It needs to rise for many, many hours, which you're going to see. Um, and I just want to point out really quickly, there are no substitutions for this recipe. So I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. Can I substitute ye the yeast? You cannot substitute yeast. You cannot substitute anything besides the dried fruit. If you want to use you know, cranberries, you can use that. If you want to use any kind of dried fruit, that's completely up to you. But besides that, everything else you cannot substitute. So I don't even want to hear it. Okay, in this little bowl, I'm going to put in my milk and my water. And the milk and water are about 115 degrees. And you want to make sure they're nice and warm so the yeast will activate. And now in here, I'm going to sprinkle in some yeast. And this is just, whoops, how many ounces is this? This is a, four, four, a fourth of an ounce a bag. Just sprinkle that all over the top. And I'm not going to mix this, I'm not going to do anything to it, I'm just going to let it sit for five minutes or until it starts to become a little bit foamy. And I'll show you the next step. After a few minutes, my yeast started to foam up, which now looks great. Now to this, I'm going to add in a few tablespoons of flour. And what we're looking to do here is to make a really thick, almost custard-like consistency, and also a tablespoon of sugar. I'm just going to whisk this together. I'm trying to make, what you want to do is ha have like almost a thick, thick cream consistency. And that's going to be like your starter of your dough. Don't ask, I'm telling you, this is a very long procedure, but it only happens once a year, Christmas time, and you can buy perfectly delicious panettone all over the place. But if you're in the mood, if it's a nice, you know, cold, rainy day outside, then there's nothing better to do than to make this. So this is what you're looking for. It's nice and thick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. You want to put this somewhere warm until it's doubled in volume. Now, you must remember when you make panettone, you want to crank up the heat because your house or wherever you're making this needs to be at least 74 degrees Fahrenheit because the trick to making panettone is to really let it rise well and let it rise for a long time. So if your house is cold, it's not going to rise. If it doesn't rise, it's not going to come out big, light, beautiful, golden. It's going to be really short, really dense, and you're going to be able to play football with it, but you're not going to be able to eat it. So this is going to go somewhere warm for about 30 minutes until it's doubled, and then I'll show you the next step. As you can see, my first dough has more than doubled in volume, which is great. Now in this bowl, this is just the bowl from my standing mixer, I'm going to put in my eggs, sugar, pinch of, well not so much a pinch, but a splash of vanilla extract. That looks great. And then I'm going to zest in the zest of a large orange. It'll be about a tablespoon of orange zest. And the same of the lemon. That looks fantastic. It smells great. Now I'm just going to use my little hand whisk here and just whisk this together. That looks fantastic. It smells great already. Now to this, we're going to add in our starter, which is the first uh, batter that we've let rise. I'm just going to put this right in. And it's almost, it almost has the texture of like cottage cream or cottage cheese, that's what you're looking for. Perfect. Now this is just going to go under here because we want the dough attachment to do all the work for us. Okay. All low, we're going to start adding in our flour. Now that my flour is fully incorporated, and make sure you want to scrape the sides of your bowl to make sure everything's well mixed. I'm going to add in my salt and my unsalted butter. 
That's at room temperature, very important. Now I'm gonna crank the heat up to medium high and I'm gonna let this mix for, I'm gonna say about five minutes or so and I'll show you what it looks like. My dough looks perfect. Now I'm gonna just turn the speed down to medium low. And I'm gonna add in my dried fruits and candy citrus peel. Just mix that until it's incorporated, not very long, that's fine. Because now I'm gonna work this by hand for just a few minutes. Now the dough is gonna be sticky, but you want that because if you start with a really thick, sort of heavy, dense dough, you're gonna end up with a really, really heavy panettone. You don't want that. So you're gonna end up with some sticky dough, but that's fine because once we work it, it is going to be perfect. Put it on some a floured surface. That's great. Now flour the top. And you also want to have a bowl on standby that you, I've just oiled it with some vegetable oil. And now we're just going to very patiently knead this together for just a few minutes or until it's no longer super sticky. That's starting to look fabulous. And again, it's going to be sticky, but you don't want it to be super, super dense. So now we're going to put this into the oiled bowl. And now what I'm going to do is take a bit more vegetable oil, put it on top. Just smear it so it doesn't form a crust. Now all I'm going to do is wrap this tightly and you're going to let this rise for about two to three hours to four hours and depending how long it takes until this triples in volume. Not doubles, but triples. Very important. So keep it somewhere warm and let it rise. My panettone has just about tripled in size. It looks fantastic. Now this is a panettone mold. I order these online because they're kind of difficult to find in just a regular supermarket or store. Um, if you don't have one, you can use an 8 inch cake pan. It does the same exact thing. But this will look more like a traditional panettone. Okay, so onto your surface here, you want to make sure it's well floured because this is going to be sticky. But see how, see all those bubbles? You see that? That's fantastic. That's really, really exactly what you're looking for. It's going to be light. It's going to be fantastic. And that, that's how much we're going to work it. That's it. You kind of just want to pull it together. And this is going to go inside your mold. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is just take a sharp knife and just make an X right at the top. It does not have to be perfect. And then you can brush it with butter. I just, brush, I just spray it with some butter spray. It does exactly the same thing. This has to rise, I know, this is a long process. This needs to be covered again and rise for another two to three hours or until it doubles or even triples its volume again. So like I've said, it's a long process, but it's not difficult. So make sure that you don't do this on a Tuesday night when you come home from work stressed out and already feeling like you hate everybody and then you're gonna make yourself a panettone. That's not when you wanna do this. You wanna do this on a weekend, when you're feeling, you know, like you want to relax a little bit and you want to hang out in the kitchen, if, especially if it's raining out, perfect. So again, this is going to go back into a warm place. I like to put a towel on top. This is going to go back into a warm place and rise for another two to three hours or until it's super, super puffed up. Look at that. That's been rising for about three hours and it is so perfect. It's exactly how it should be. Now carefully, I'm going to take it out of here and put it into my little cake pan. And if it falls a little bit, that's perfectly fine. It's going to rise right back up when you bake it. That's amazing. It smells incredible already and we haven't even baked it yet. Just going to fix this part. Now all I'm going to do to this is brush it with some egg wash, which is just egg beaten with a little bit of cream or milk or water. And I'm going to put this into a preheated oven, 350 degrees, for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's beautiful, lightly golden, and you insert a toothpick or a dried piece of spaghetti in. There's no wet batter. It means it's done. And then we're going to let it cool before we serve it. My panettone baked for about 45 minutes, and it is perfect. It smells like the most amazing bakery in the world in here right now. Um, so all I've done is take off the little wrapper, and I'm going to cut right into it. It's going to be delightful, but I can't even begin to describe the smell. It's so, look at that. First of all, it's still steamy. Can you see that? Look at the fluffiness. Can you see that? It's not dense. It's, first of all, it's still warm. I have got to just, I got to stop talking. It is like so soft. It's like, 
这个 air， delicious air。It would not be Christmas without panettone all over the place. And absolutely, you can buy some delicious ones out there. But if you really want to impress someone, make them a homemade one. Try to give it to them while it's still nice and warm. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but just do it. It's fantastic, and the leftovers make for it the most mouth-watering French toast the morning after Christmas that you will ever have. It is my go-to recipe for leftover panettone. French toast. It's a must in this house. I can eat the whole thing. Mmm, it's so fluffy and light. It's perfect. But I love that that the outside has got a nice golden crust. It's just perfect. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Get in your kitchen, make panettone. But first, go to www.laurenkitchen.com to get the recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.